Welcome back to Showcase Sunday 20, everyone. From the table, I am the Encyclopedia of Pain, Joey Clips, ready to bring you your co-main event of the evening for the vacant British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. You hear that music there, it can mean only one thing. He's accompanied by his manager, Sugar Shane Pinto. He stands six foot three and weighs in at 255 pounds. He is known as the beast from Belgium. He is Borg Hackett. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, they don't call him the beast from Belgium for nothing. It's not just a fun nickname. It's not just a slick slogan to throw on a t-shirt. This monster has left nothing but pain and destruction in his wake all around the world. You can see him there just pacing the ring like a caged animal. He's focused, he's hungry, he's intense. He is ready to win himself his first British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship at all costs. This crowd already getting fired up knowing who his opponent is. They love this man. He has been all around the world himself. He is a true champion, a true representative of what heritage and history stand for with the British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. yourself there folks from our announcer Navid telling this in-house crowd and I'm telling you all at home wherever you may be this man is a former five-time champion he held this for more than 3600 days he holds the record for most title reigns for the longest time held he is the Montreal Mastodon Drew Onyx why do they call him a Mastodon? Well, he's six foot two. He's 285 pounds. He is a 23 year veteran of this great sport. He has won championships all over the world. He has defended this very title against the likes of Carl Anderson, Adam Pierce, and Fergal Devitt. If you need a pedigree, this man has it. And I can't say which one has the advantage. Experience speaks loudly. But Bjorg is a 12-year pro himself. You know he's been in wars. But that's exactly what he's got here tonight, is a war. I don't know if I've ever been more excited for a, for a heavyweight matchup, folks. I cannot wait to see this one. This crowd is pumped. They are ready to go. But do not envy that man right there, referee Brandon. He has got his hands more than full, and that's not just a tongue-in-cheek joke because it's two super heavyweights. These two men are animals. You can rest assured, folks, that whomever wins the British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship is going to be the true champion because he is going to have to earn it here tonight. see it folks mark it on your calendars this face-off is an absolute history making moment Ruonic saying I've got it for you right here Bjork Hacken saying you got nothing for me perhaps Sugar Shane Pinto may want to vacate the area though because I have a feeling that Drew Onyx will put him through the floor if he gets in his way this evening Referee showing both men what this thing is all about. 15 pounds of gold of history of heritage. It is on the line tonight. Here's your bell, ladies and gentlemen, and we are underway. Circling with a nice tie-up and a breakaway. Oh, Drew Onyx not having any of it right now. Another tie-up. Here we go. Both men testing each other's power, perhaps. They are both monstrous. This crowd clearly behind Drew Onyx and another nice collar and elbow tie-up. Circling, pushing, grinding, trying to get some advantage here. 
Back into the ropes and right back to center ring. You see Drew get cut off there with a right hand and now a nice kick by Bjork. Got a nice go behind waist lock. Oh, Bjornik's catching him with a nice back elbow. Trying to break it, grab that wrist, looking for a little bit of leverage. Perhaps trying to spin through with some wrist control. Bjork Hacken showing some power. Very impressive, nice standing side headlock. Again, you see Drewanix looking for a little wrist control, back to waist control. Shot to the midsection. He'll try and squeeze and try and take a little bit of his energy away by squeezing that waist. Try to break the wrist and here we go. Nice go behind one more time, wrapping it around and into a hammer lock. Elementary, but effective. Sometimes you've got to start from the top of the tree and work your way down. Nice reversal there by Bjorg once again, but this time into a front face lock. Drew Onyx looking for some leverage. Oh, nice spin out, nice overhead hammer lock. This is a modification of the Kimura lock, however done over the head. Extremely painful, great way to rip an elbow, great way to rip a shoulder. But Drew Onyx with fantastic technique, lots of experience and brings it right back to Bjorg and says, how do you like it? Adding a little extra torque each and every time. Weight advantage to Onyx, perhaps leverage advantage to Bjork Hacken, looking for another go behind, setting him up right now in a standing Kimura. Onyx looking to use his weight again as a leverage point, but Bjork Hacken controlling the wrist and where the wrist goes, the body follows. Nice spin away into a standing side headlock once again. Drew Onyx will eat you alive if you don't find a way out of this in a hurry. Again, York Hacken using that leverage advantage. Nice wrist control, wrist lock. Both men jockeying for position. Great, just transitions. Great wrestling. Oh my goodness. He gets him with a five star slap across the shoulders and that hurts. Nice full Nelson now. Not always about going for the submission, folks. Let's remember that. Sometimes it's about trying to wear it out. You push the chin down into the chest and he can't breathe. Drew Onyx maintaining control. Here we go. Cross-face armbar again applied. York Hacken trying to use that right hand to try and regain. Push away into the corner. Drew Onyx coming off with a right hand cross to the chin. Bjork Hacken on his back back up and away we go again to the corner. Nice avalanche splash by Drew Onyx. Moves him across again and a huge lariat right to the chin. Nearly took his head off. Oh and a 285 pound splash but only a one count. Bjork Hacken showing some intelligence rolling out of the ring getting a little separation having a little confab on the floor with Shane Pinto. Trigger Shane having just acquired Bjorg Hacken and his partners, Genesis uh, Contracts, now has them on the fast track to championship gold. One at a time, work together. But you do have to watch Sugar Shane Pinto because he is devious. He is evil. Bjorg Hacken back in the ring, and here we go. Throws a right hand and blocked. Nice right hands back by Drew Onyx. Now a stomp. Oh, Bjorg Hacken throwing some heavy right hands. Shoots himself off. Drew catching him coming through, and a spinning neck breaker. Outstanding technique. That hurts, smash that back of your head off their shoulder, and Matt, that will knock you silly. One count again, Bjork Hacken with some great ring presence, knowing that he's in trouble, kicking out right away. No point in wasting time. Drew setting him up, Bjork reversing, and a nice backhand chop. Lays another one, just lighting up the chest of Drew Onyx. And a nice European uppercut. This will take the breath right out of you. It hurts. Great agility by Bjorg Hacken. Shoots over the top rope and hangs Drew Onyx across the top, then into the turnbuckle, and then hangs him again, using all 255 pounds to his advantage, cutting the wind right off from Drew Onyx. Drew Onyx in some real trouble here. Bjorg Hacken taking the mount, and just dropping heavy right hands right to the back of the head. Those rabbit shots will ring your bell. Some great stomps and an axe handle to the chest. 
Makes the hard jump when you take a shot like that. Takes the wind right out of you. Referee trying to warn him to open up the hands. Oh, this crowd not happy with Bjork Hacken. But he isn't concerned with them. Nice right hand to the midsection. Each and every time he throws one of those heavy right hands, imagine a meter on a video game fighter. It just takes a little bit of your energy each and every time. But Drew Onyx knows how to throw him right back. Exchanging hands again. York Hacken looking for some kind of an opening. Shot to the turnbuckle. Trying to disorient Drew. Big stop to the midsection and another right hand. Now just alternating shots. Drew Onyx doesn't know which way, which way it's coming from. Oh, and a nice backhand shot. Oh, and an overhand right. And another. The size of those hands. Oh, and an amazing, amazing standing drop kick from the six foot three Bjorg Hocken. Incredible. One count only again. These two have both done their homework. You can tell, and they know if you stayed out for longer than a one count, you might be on your back for three. Now just using his weight and leverage. Choking Drew Onyx across the middle rope. Bjorg Hacken just showing the crowd, I know what's up, I've already paid attention. Brings him back up, setting him up. Oh, and a huge forearm shot that time to the neck. Drew Onyx clearly with presence of mind, only takes a one count. Not looking for any breaks here. Some people will say, oh, take the two count, get a break. No, sir, not these two. And Hacken now using a front face lock. Both of them from a kneeling position. Just looking to wrench that neck, push the neck down, try to cut the wind off and stretch the vertebrae. Drew intelligently getting to the bottom rope, causing a five count break. Let's remember Drew Onyx, a 23 year pro. He's gotta have a trick up his sleeve. Sometimes power's enough though. Bjork Hacken with a huge shot to the midsection and another right hand cross. Drew bringing the, no the knee up to catch him. But Bjork Hacken shoots low with a huge shoulder block to the midsection. From the second rope, oh, huge shoulder tackle. Drew Onyx in some real trouble now. There's one, there's two. Oh, that's getting closer. That's the test for Bjork Hacken. Nice backhand chop. Drew Onyx looking to give himself some space. A little bit of breathing room. But Bjork Hacken like an animal. He smells blood and he is all over it. Oh, and Bjork Hacken now stretching him out. Grabs himself a rear choke. The referee may need to check that, make sure that it's not across the windpipe. Drew Onyx with a great reversal, but gets stomped for his trouble. Another big shot, another big shot. Bjork Hacken looking for some kind of advantage, but Drew Onyx using leverage and technique, reversal. Double clothesline. Oh, this could be bad news. We don't want to see this one end here, but a 10 count would end the match with nobody winning a championship. Oh, and you can see Sugar Shane. He is worried about his man. You can see him coaching, telling him, come on, Bjork, get up, get up. Both men to their knees. Here we go. Drew to one, Bjork to one. Now we're forehead to forehead. Drew Onyx is smiling. He's intense, big right hands exchanged. Oh, and another stiff chop, another stiff chop. Drew Onyx shooting Bjork off the ropes and a nice flying knee to Drew Onyx's chin. Oh, Onyx could be out for the count. This could be trouble. And another two count. We are getting close, folks. One of these men are just an extra count away from a championship. All of their dreams to come true. Oh, and a forearm to the back. York Hacken getting some momentum, but boom, down he goes with a clothesline. Onyx not taking his eyes off from Hacken. One second. Nice setup. Oh, and a world's strongest slam by Drew Onyx. Gets a one, gets a two. Oh, what's Drew Onyx got in mind now? Oh, and an amazing armbar choke combination. York Hacken in real trouble. If he doesn't find a way out of this in a hurry, it is lights out. Drew Onyx yanking the back of the head. 
Verhaken trying everything in his power. Finally, that shot across the ear, enough to cause the hold to break. Hacken setting him up. Texas Cloverleaf. Here we go. Oh, all of that weight, all of that leverage, all of that pressure across the thighs, the quads, the lower back, the neck. If the pain doesn't get you, surely it could pass you out. You can see Sugar Shane Pinto getting in Drew Onyx's face, telling him he's all done, telling him to give it up. All you'll do is motivate the man. Drew Onyx not looking to lose this one. He wants this championship back bad. Oh, and Bjork Hacken tried like crazy to drag him back, but the weight advantage on Drew Onyx's side gets to the bottom rope and a break. Both men back to a vertical base. What is Bjork Hacken looking to do here? Another stop. If it works, don't fix it. Shot to the chin. Drew Onyx looks to be in some real trouble, looks to be rocked, but catches that back elbow. Again, all of that veteran experience. Flip flop and fly by Onyx elbow by Drew Onyx. Right to the top of the head. Doesn't that hurt? Bjork Hacken catching him coming in that time with a boot to the face and a huge big boot on the way through. That could be all she wrote. Only a two count. Drew Onyx still has enough wherewithal to pull himself up. The last time these two faced, let's not forget, Drew Onyx maintained his championship by disqualification. Bjork Hacken hasn't forgotten. He wants revenge. Short arm clothesline attempt into a rear waist lock again. Nice stomp. Sets him up. Oh, and a huge Uranagi. Bjork Hacken with an enormous power move. And only a two count. What's it gonna take? You can see it. The frustration perhaps starting to set in a little bit. Resiliency is so important in a matchup like this for both men. Bjork Hacken setting up in a front face lock once again. Got a hold of that wrist, shoots it over. What's he after this time? Setting up for a suplex. Drew Onyx using his weight to hold on. Exchanging shots one more time. Bjork back to the head. Off the ropes. Ducks under. Back again. Here we go. Oh, and a huge spear by Drew Onyx. Oh, 285 pounds and Sugar Shane into the ring. Come on, ref, what's he doing there? The manager can't be in the ring, folks. You know it and I know it. We don't want to see a disqualification here. Oh, and Genesis out of nowhere with a huge super kick to the jaw. Drew Onyx, referee didn't see it. Now we know what Sugar Shane Pinto was up to in the ring, causing the distraction, giving Genesis a chance to come out and save his partner. One man in, one man out. A count out could be enough. Drew Onyx doesn't want to lose it this way. You would think that nobody would want to win it this way, but a championship is a championship. Drew Onyx smarting. That super kick was all there. Back into the ring, breaks the count, but he could be in some real trouble. The numbers game getting to Drew Onyx. Nice back elbow. York hacking with a... He's got a goozle. I'm trying to shoot for a choke slam. Does he have enough? Oh, and Bjork says that's not enough. He's hanging on tight. Drew Onyx in some real trouble. Up and down. Oh my God, a huge choke slam by Bjork Hacken. We got one, we got two. Oh, and Drew Onyx out at two. Oh, the frustration really getting to Bjork Hacken and his manager right now. Sugar Shane losing his jacket. He is just going crazy on the outside. What is Hacken going to have to do? You see him kneeling and thinking. What's it going to take? You've been all over the world in 12 years. You've faced all manner of opponents. Dig deep. You can hear it. You can see it. Sugar Shane just telling him, you've got to get this done. He wants that championship. Bjork Hacken going up. This is a big, big man to be going all the way upstairs. What's he got in mind here? A huge swanton bomb and he misses. No one home. Drew Onyx sees him coming and gets up. On 
Panic setting him up again, crowd getting behind him. Off he goes and another enormous spear. Drew Onyx with one, two. Oh, two and nine tenths. Onyx has got to know he is getting closer as well. We are one seriously powerful move away from this being done. Both of these men are beaten, they are battered. It is a war of attrition. Nice double throat chop. Back we go, Bjorg with some phenomenal strikes. Clearly a very well-trained striker, using it to his advantage. But Drew Onyx says, not enough. Oh, and he's staring him down. Boot to the midsection again. Drew shoots off the goose. Oh, and another huge chop, another huge chop. Oh, and Wu indeed. Drew Onyx with those huge overhand chops. Reaching for his soul, trying to grab his spine. That is vicious. Oh, and he gets caught in an enormous spine buster. Spine buster. Referee in position. We've got one, two, and he gets a three. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Bjorg Hacken gets the three. He's done it. Bjorg Hacken has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, your new British Commonwealth heavyweight champion is Bjorg. Hacken! In comes his manager and his tag team partner Genesis to celebrate with him. And it is official. Up goes the arm. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a war. These two men left everything they had in the ring. York Hacken getting a little revenge against Drew Onyx. He is now the British Commonwealth heavyweight champion. Wherever you are, stand up, throw confetti, like the man or don't. That was a hell of an effort and I am glad I was here to witness history. Congratulations, Bjorg Hacken. You have earned it by hook or by crook. It makes no difference. Oh, and Shane Pinto just beside himself. Indeed, what a matchup. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your new British Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion. Drew Onyx, I'm sure, disappointed at this point, but no reason to be. He gave it everything he had. Sometimes the numbers games come in. I don't think he'll make a single excuse for it. However, York Hacken was the better man this evening. Drew himself knows it, uh, it's always about the W. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion. Congratulations, Bjorg Hacken. Ladies and gentlemen, from the table, I am the Encyclopedia of Pain, Joey Clips. Until next time, take care.